Ganymede recap and review. All right, what do you guys think? We, we've played it twice. Uh, I really like it. I didn't win either time and I still like it. It's tense. The race part of it is really cool. We both launched four ships uh, and you just managed to get this double reputation really was huge. Well, I, I made the intentional choice to go reputation this, this go around. I, I, I didn't, my last game I had zero reputation. I didn't mess with it at all. I just concentrated completely on, um, on card collection. And this time I wanted to go more reputation heavy. Um, and well, that's neither here nor there. As far as the game itself, I think it's fantastic. I, I think it's relatively simple, but there's a lot of avenues for strategy. Just in the two playthroughs, um, like I um, stumbled across, you know, different play, you know, play styles that both seem very valid. Um, there's not direct player interaction, but when someone snipes the card that you're looking for, it's like, ah, oh, you're just pulling your hair out. Oh, uh, I there was yeah, that yeah. cost me the game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I needed one purple card to launch a ship. And there was one purple card that I set up to mm -hmm. get, and one particular person at this table decided to take that card. I needed it. Uh huh. Do you think Euro gamers would appreciate this game, or do you think there's too much luck? You know, no, this is this is a Euro. There's I, a lot of luck. Any game where there's cards that get drawn is going to have luck. I mean, right? Yeah. So yeah, there's luck involved. I feel like there's a lot of planning, but I felt like there is a lot of luck because I easily completed like all the different colors last time, but it was a struggle this time because of what was coming up. Well, this time there was more hate drafting because people understood how the game what was, Yeah, how the game works. So I think if if you're playing this game with cutthroat players, I think it's going to be very frustrating to have your you know, plans well, not lot, be thwarted. A lot does depend on what cards come up and what's available. And like the last turn, there was nothing I could do yeah. to further myself. And th I don't think that sucks, but it is frustrating. It can be. It can be frustrating unless you get all the things you want and then it's great. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys thought this game was great. I ended with four points. <laughs> I understand going in that there's going to be luck involved. And I also understand there's going to be hate drafting. And I understand that someone might launch the same amount of ships that I had, but they score more points. But the game takes, what, 30, 40 minutes tops? Well, that's why I was asking, like, if someone's, like, strictly into Euros and strictly into, oh, this like, is definitely, anti... Yeah, I don't think they would Anti-luck, would they enjoy this game? And I don't know. Maybe not. But I can definitely see people easily getting frustrated with this game. Another criticism well, I've heard of the game is that there's no theme to it, but I feel like... I we, think the theme is pretty heavy. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, You can almost like rethink this as a um, gold rush game. Like going out to California to try to mine that gold. Because that's the kind of what you feel like. You don't feel like you're, you're colonizing planets as much as you feel like you're just... <laughs> so yeah, no, you're just out there. You're not colonizing planets. Yeah. You're just getting them to the platform so yeah. they can yeah. go out. It's not, it's not where they're yeah. going. It's not terraforming Mars. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know that. You know. Again, that in forty minutes of play time, I think they crammed quite a bit into it. Yeah. I mean, is it the richest theme I've ever had in a game? No, but to me, like, it's not a super heavy theme. That's okay. If, it, if the game has strong mechanics, you know. I can forgive a light theme, like, you know, it could be abstract, you know, for all I care. Do you think it has strong mechanics here? I honestly do. I, I do. I think there's multiple ways you can play it. I think... Well, I like the layer. There's layers. You got to yeah. get the meeples. You have to get them off Earth, and you have to try to optimize mm -hmm. what, you know, what you can move and get extra actions. I never found the adapt action to be worth my time. I used it once. I, I found one instance where I'm like, oh, if I adapt, I can potentially use this other card and go forward. You yeah, know? it's good if you're because that's the other thing. You parts. you can generally see if someone's going to be able to snipe a card from you, but just come up with a backup for whatever your main goal is, and you'll generally find on your turn you have something that can forward your cause. And that's one thing I like about this game. There's always some sort of forward momentum. Like, you don't just stall out. It's not like Champions of Midgard where you can just completely... Even if you stall out, you get to chuck a tile. I I, yeah. I was at a point where I had no tiles. I had to use them for the action, so mm -hmm. I had no tiles. So picking a tile wasn't going to get me a combo. I needed a purple card, and there was only one. So that 
I was thwarted there. But you could at least pick a tile that gets you the meeple, that gets you what you need right. for that it's card. Right, it's just slower. It's, yeah. not, it's not as well, sometimes combo the, fantastic. Well, it depends. Sometimes it can, you know, when things are firing on cylinders, you can, you can get a big combo, but... Well, I think that's what I'm saying about the length of the game. If this was a two-hour game and it came down to me not being able to get a card that I wanted mm -hmm. at the end, I think it would be way more frustrating. But in a 40-minute game, so okay, so yeah, I didn't get it this time. We play again. And next time, things might go a little bit different for me. But at, at the end of the day, my loss doesn't cost me a huge time sink. Well, I mean, I think any game kind of has that. Like, call it Imperium is a huge long game and you know you on a clutch battle you can just roll all ones that's that, true that's that but it know. doesn't hurt way more <laughs> right it hurts way more you've invested mm -hmm. six hours at least and then it comes down to a dice roll i don't know i do like the length i, I like that it's not a huge time investment it, it doesn't overstay its welcome at all in fact i kind of wish it was kind of gone on a couple more rounds <laughs> yeah uh, um trade sovereign skies for it no. <laughs> Seven Skies is a good game. On a, on a scale of one to great, where do you put this game? I'm going to put it on very solid, surprisingly solid. Oh, it just clicked with me. Maybe, you know, obviously that's subjective, but um, I'll, I'll put this game as pretty damn good. Pretty okay. <laughs> well, that's Ganymede. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Say something in French. Oh. Buenos dias. <laughs>